She's a Dominican author and a best-selling author of the book Oceans of Thoughts. Rosalind Serene McLean joins us now. Good morning. Yes, good morning, good morning. Thank you for inviting me onto your show. <laughs> no problem. So tell us about um, the book Oceans of Thoughts. What inspired you to write it? Uh, Oceans of Thoughts, book one. Yes, um, it's a book of inspiration. You know, um, what inspired me to write this book? Actually, I've been writing for many years. Mm -hmm. And um, I just decided to put my book, my book through. I've been writing all the poetry um, from many years since um, like I was a child. You know, mm -hmm. I wrote a lot of the poetry and I just kept it and um, kept it safe. So um, through the, the pandemic issue that we are having, we're experiencing, I um, got the inspiration to just at least put the book somewhere, put my work in somewhere. So I looked and researched and found someone who helped me to put it in the book. So my inspiration actually is, um, you know, the great book, the great book of, you know, society, the great book of, of writing, and um, that's, this is what really helped me. It's an inspirational book for the inner self. It helps people to, to, to look within and experience themselves through my work. <laughs> Great. Um, I know that you are also a dancer and you've traveled the world <laughs> um, doing belly dancing. How do, you, how do you balance that, being a writer and also being an accomplished dancer? Um, well, yeah, well, dancing has been part of my energy for since childhood. And um, yeah, I run a, a belly group. Matter of fact, the headpiece I have comes from one of my dance, my dance productions. Um, yes, um, how do I balance it? Well, I have not really been doing much of it through the, because of the COVID, because you can't really do any, any performances as such. So the writing just fell right into place, you know, to fulfill that, that little loophole. You know, of the of you know, so there's a space between writing and 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 doing performances. You know, they, I do more a lot of chore choreography with my dancers. I do is a belly dancing. Belly dancing is cultural to the whole Caribbean because everywhere has belly in one way or the other. They might call it a different a different um, title, you know, but it's all belly. The same picture, the same back foot, you know. And what I do, I I incorporate um, a production. I make a whole production of a piece. And this is how I, you know, it's what I've been doing. And yeah. so far, what has the feedback or the reception been from this book? It's been very well, very good. Thank you. Um, I had done open mic, you know, uh, over the last few years in New York, and um, I had many good reviews, you know, for my my poetry in my work. And so far on Amazon, I mean, the reviews speak for itself. I have quite a few reviews on there and it speaks loudly, it speaks volumes, you know, for, for the work that I do through poetry. Um, it's more, it's my life experiences. I've decided a lot of people put their life experiences through essay, um, um, novel, but I got the inspiration to do it through poetry. Um, this is the only way it clicked. I, I tried to do it the normal way, the autobiography way, but it didn't click that way. It clicked through the poetry uh, and able to speak to the audiences. I've been able to speak to many people through this work. And I have gotten, um, people have called me and reached out to me and thanked me for helping them the way um, I wrote whatever whatever poetry it is and that has helped them so so far you know that is a blessing to many people many people out there they have they like my work and they they relate to what i write <laughs> that's wonderful so who is your your intended target audience i'm targeting everyone mm -hmm. i have a lot of i have children on my books too because i'm i'm relating to you know, some of my pieces relate to the children as well. When I say children, you know, I guess 12 year olds are little, for those who are able to understand. And also up to seniors. I have all generations, you know, with all professionals, you know, can relate to my work. Because my work speaks to everyone. You know, it's not, it's not um, targeted to just one, one, because um, it has the young, the older, the, the teenagers, speak to teenagers a lot. You know, it speaks to the seniors. I have a piece in this book on seeing, you know, written to seniors. And um, so everyone can benefit from my work. 
Yeah. Great. So where can we purchase this book? Where can we find Oceans of Thoughts? Oceans of Thoughts can be purchased on Amazon. You know, it's um, very reasonably priced. You know, it's, um, it's on Amazon. You go into the Amazon Oceans of Thoughts link and um, you will see, you know, I have also the Kindle and then the ebook. For those who are not able to, to get the, the paperback version, you could also read it through the Kindle. So it's on Amazon for right now. In Dominica, I have sent it to the bookstores in Dominica, to, to Jay's bookstore. I would love to send it to the bookstores or to the libraries in Antigua or over the Caribbean. So I would definitely need that connection to be able to send it to the people out there. Because it's, it's a book for everybody, all through the Caribbean, and, you know, everywhere. You know, people can benefit on, on my work. And I always speak of an international audience because I'm um, in New York, you get all audiences. And, you know, I've got very much appreciation from a lot of people who um, I did not know personally, the different audiences on the way on, on the way of this poetry, poetry in the book. I have other books coming out. There's another one coming out which will be published um, by June. I was hoping it will be done in May, but most likely be published in June. Um, that other one is focusing on my background in music. You know, so that's going to be a, 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 good, a, good, a good read as well, as well, yeah. Okay, can you tell us, I am, um, you said this is book one and you said you have another one coming out in June. Do you have a number of how many books will be in this series? I do not like to put a, a number on my work, but I know it's going to be a few, because um, this one coming up, this one is a lot of my, I wrote about my sister who passed away, the experiences and emotions, you know, around around her and i wrote about experiences at my my school when i went to grade school as a child so i wrote different experiences in this in this um this particular book and my work goes in series i do not just write one poem it i will have like four or five to the same story you know in this one in book two i focus a lot on the music you know i used to be in a band in dominica in 1970s an all girl group called the missing dimensions so basically three quarter of the book is focused on the the journey and the history of of the band so besides other poetry which i have written so yeah i think that um this is what's what's happening with the books the other well i have book three coming up book four yes but i i really do not want to put a, a limit on on how many on number on how many because that's that's all the pressure <laughs> and you put a number. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us here today. And as you said, like I hope that we make that connection with you so we can get those books here in Antigua and Zabarbula. I think it is very important for us to, to help and promote our brothers and sisters across the region. So thank you again I for joining us. <laughs> no I appreciate problem. this. I appreciate this interview. It's very, very important, you know, for the book, for me and for us as a, a people of the Caribbean. So I really appreciate you inviting me here on your television station, you know, to have this interview today. Okay, thank you so much.